got the bomb. No match KIA. What is up guys, my name is Nick and today we're going to be talking about the overpowered SVG class setup. Now I know a lot of you guys asked for the Locust, but I have to say ever since I started playing with the SVG roughly about a month ago, I honestly fell in love with this thing and completely forgot about the Locust. The SVG gets so little hit markers, actually I got a few hit markers with it, but that's another story, but the, it gets so little hit markers that I have to say it is a lot better than the Locust, especially with these attachments and this class I'm about to give you guys. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say yesterday's video went really, really well. It got over 500 likes, but it also got over 50 dislikes. A lot of you guys got really upset. A lot of you guys, I guess, didn't get to the April Fool's joke. But nonetheless, for those of you who did get it, <laughs> thank you guys for not like getting mad at me for doing it. And so, but nonetheless, guys, let's move on to this class setup. Now, guys, we're going to start off with the perks because those are the boring ones. At perk number one, we have six cents. You guys know I put this on every single class practically, no matter what. Now, this is because I want to know where enemies are, especially using a sniper. It's really good. You're going to be posted up in a certain area. Area. you want to see if there's somebody coming from above you below you behind you or sitting in a corner around you perfect perk to have honestly it's a cheating perk but it's perfect to have going on to perk number two we're gonna have fast hands because you are using a uh, sniper you're gonna want to switch to your secondary really really fast if you miss your first shot and the person's pretty close you want to be able to hit them out pretty quickly and we'll get into the secondary weapon in a second here but let's move on to the third perk as well which is going to be awareness like i said you're going to be posted up in a certain area if your sixth sense doesn't catch someone at least your awareness might be able to pick them off if they're coming close to you if they're around you or anything like that you'll know where they're coming from you could switch to your secondary and knock them out pretty quickly next off guys we have the secondary weapon which is going to be the mr6 pistol you could honestly use any pistol you want i just use the mr6 because it's pretty much a two to four shot kill at a lot of ranges and it's really damn good to have if you have a fast trigger finger the mr6 is amazing if you know that you're only going to be using your pistol up close and stuff like that you could put on the l car stuff like that maybe uh, automatic pistol might do good for you guys but i personally prefer using the mr6 recently though i did unlock fury's song and i'm so happy it's the first weapon i unlocked in a supply drop in uh, black ops 3 i said my luck was horrible i finally got a weapon guys and i've been using that as my secondary lately but i really don't recommend using a knife or a knife variant as a secondary to a sniper because you're not really going to get to those close quarter combat stuff like that too too often but nonetheless guys moving on we actually do have a lethal and a tactical on this class you guys know i don't normally run lethals and tacticals simply because i find them useless in this game I find them useless in a lot of games to be quite honest but nonetheless these ones are actually pretty good and that is a shock charge for your tactical so uh, you could throw it and you could see if anyone's coming behind you you could shock charge them they'll be shocked and then with that you'll have your trip mine as your lethal right beside the shock charge so once the person steps into the shock charge they can't move and then the the uh, trip mine goes off and blows them up to pieces and if that doesn't work if they're wearing flak jacket or something you easily know exactly where they are and you can pull out your pistol and shoot them with one bullet and they'll be guaranteed dead as long as your trip mine got a hit marker going on to the attachment guys now the attachments on this class you have to follow one of them specifically because i noticed that with the optical that i or the optic that i use it's a lot easier to get quick scopes to get hard scopes and it's just a lot more accurate for some reason than the base uh sight on this gun so what you're going to want to do is put on the thermal sight and do not use the default dot that's the big circle dot that has like it's kind of like a ring i would say do not use that one what you're going to want to do is put on the void you have to unlock this one obviously and if you do have a supply drop dot definitely put on the blue void now the blue void for sort of the red void whichever one you prefer i prefer the blue void to be honest because you're using thermal sight and the person's body is going to appear like red yellowish whatever stuff like that bluish at some point but the blue picks them off nicely you'll always be able to see where your dot is and you'll definitely be able to pick them off quickly and for some reason i don't know what it is when you're using the thermal sight it just feels a lot more accurate than when you're using the actual base sight that came with this the default sight so definitely throw that on with the blue void that is something i I personally love doing next off we also have rapid fire because you are using an svg it is slow the bullets come out slowly rapid fire is going to make it a lot quicker you'll be able to shoot those people off faster you miss your first shot don't worry you could take your second one pretty damn fast 
And the last one that we got here, guys, is stock. Now, because it is a sniper, guys, you are going to be hard scoping. And I don't care if you tell me you're an elite trick shot or 420 no scope wall buying quick scoping guy. I don't care what you say, you will be hard scoping every so often, at least using a sniper. So when you do this, you're gonna want to throw stock on it so that you can move quickly out of the way while you're still maintaining your scope, while you're still maintaining your accuracy on the person. So if he's shooting at you, he might have a little more difficulty while you move quickly rather than if you were to move super slowly and he could keep his accuracy right on you, his, his aim right on you so nonetheless guys that is my svg class i hope you enjoyed this again i do want to apologize for those of you who did get upset about yesterday's video it was just an april fool's joke guys but nonetheless thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new around here let's hit 200 likes on this one i hope you guys enjoy this class you wanted a sniper class i will do the locust eventually but i've just been having way too much fun with the svg lately but thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one Peace.